Hi everybody and welcome to Friday Night Spotlight brought to you by Jones Ford Buick GMC, your hometown dealer for more than 50 years. I am Brian Wright and I am joined by Maria Vasquez and we are talking about week two of the high school playoffs. And last week we had four Pinal teams in action. One of them uh, was eliminated, that was Coolidge losing a close game in the 3A playoffs. And we still have three teams left. Uh, we have Casa Grande, Santa Cruz Valley, and Superior. So let's start with the 4A playoffs, which is going to be Casa Grande matching up against Goodyear Desert Edge. And the Cougars really had a historic victory last week. It was their first playoff win in 26 years when they knocked off Sarita Walden Grove on the on the road, and it is just their second playoff victory in school history. So the Cougars are feeling good right now. They ended their regular season with a win over number three, Canyon Del Oro. So Maria, when you take a look at this matchup with Desert Edge, what are your thoughts? Well, it's going to be a quarterback showdown. Both teams have a sophomore quarterback, and for Desert Edge, they have Adrian Lara, who has over 3,000 passing yards, 35 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes this matchup, to me, extra intriguing because not only do you have two dynamic quarterbacks, but both of them are sophomores. So Maria mentioned Adrian Lara for Desert Edge, and then, of course, for Casa Grande, you have Angel Flores, who had 170 passing yards last week and a touchdown. He added to that 69 rushing yards and three more touchdowns. Um, he was a big, big factor in that victory over Walden Grove. And uh, Maria, when you take a look at some of the other key matchups in this game, what do you see? Well, Desert Edge defense, so far they have 21.5 um, sacks for 107 yards. And it's going to be interesting to see how CG Union's offensive line can protect their young quarterback. And I think the key matchup in this game is going to be the uh, dynamic duo that uh, sorry, Desert Edge has at wide receiver. And you've got Jihad Marks, who has over 1,400 yards and 16 receiving touchdowns. And also Andrew Patterson, who has 1,013 yards and 10 touchdowns. And it's going to be them against the very strong secondary of CG Union, which includes cornerbacks Jameer Heyman and Damian Allen and safety Gregory Velasquez. And uh, they've been able to match up with other teams, uh, top receivers, well all season long, and I think that is going to be a key uh, aspect of this game to watch. Maria, any final thoughts on this game? I think in this game, CG Union's run game might be more of a factor, given that um, they have slightly more of a variety of different players who can run the ball than Desert Edge does. All right, let's move on to the 2A playoffs, where we have Santa Cruz hosting Parker. And Santa Cruz had a home game last week. They uh, blew out Chandler Prep, and in that game they had almost 500 yards of offense, and they held Chandler Prep to just 158 yards. Maria, you are the Santa Cruz reporter, so you were at that game. What are you seeing out of the Dust Devils right now? The Dust Devils are pretty much rolling on all cylinders. Um, their defense has been spectacular all year, but their offense, it's pretty much unstoppable right now. We all know what they're going to do, and they're going to run the ball. Most likely, it's going to go through Hunter Ogle, who is having a spectacular season. But like I mentioned last week, they have a long list of guys who can also run the ball. And one of them has been um, a big key for them lately, and that's Steve Kelvin. So far, he has 231 rushing yards on 27 carries and seven touchdowns. And Kelvin also had an interception on defense last week. And as Maria mentioned, this is a heavy running team, but you have quarterback Austin Hugel. He did throw two touchdowns last week against Chandler Prep, so that is uh, always a threat. And then uh, Hunter Ogle, who Maria said is having a terrific season. He had 189 yards rushing and two touchdowns, and he led the team on defense with 11 tackles. Uh, Maria, what else do you look, do you see in this matchup with Parker? I mentioned their defense. They're not really all that flashy, but they're textbook. They're going to get the job done, and that's pretty much all you need from a defense. You don't need those um, flashy plays from players. Now, looking at Parker, we don't have stats on max preps, but uh, they did not play a, t a very strong schedule this year. 
they do have a couple of victories over playoff teams. Uh, they beat Antelope last week 20-0, uh, to zero. Uh, so that was probably their best defensive performance. And then uh, earlier in the season, they beat number 8 Veritas Prep 56-20. to 20. Outside of that, they played a lot of teams with losing records, so uh, you've got a little bit of both from, from Veritas Prep. We've seen that they can beat good teams, but also a lot of the year they weren't playing uh, great competition. Uh, Maria, what do you think uh, on final thoughts on this game? Um, you know, Santa Cruz, they're doing their thing like they've been doing all year. I expect a similar outcome from them. Okay, let's move on to our third and final matchup, and that is going to be the 1A playoffs. And we have got Superior, uh, who is the defending 1A state champion, taking on Williams. And Williams was the 2017 state champion. Now, this is interesting because, of course, in 2017, Williams beat Superior in the state championship game. Last year, Williams was knocked out a little bit early because they had a lot of injuries, and Superior went on to win the championship. Now you have the two teams coming back uh, and meeting each other in the state finals this year. So, Maria, uh, when you look at this matchup, what stands out to you? Well, for me, it's going to be, can Williams disrupt the connection that quarterback Matthew Cruz and Adam Navarrete have for Superior? Yes, that is going to be, I, I agree, a big factor in this game. You have Lopez who has almost 1,000 yards receiving and 17 touchdowns. And, you know, he wasn't a huge factor last week in Superior's blowout win over Mogion. Uh, he did have 91 yards and a touchdown. But Adam Navarrete on the other side went off. He had uh, 200 yards receiving and four touchdowns. So if you're Williams, you got to find a way to uh, contain both of those guys. And that that is going to be a very tough task. And Matthew Cruz who is just a sophomore, threw seven touchdown passes against Mogion. Now, all that being said, Williams is the number one seed, and Williams is the favorite going into this game. So, Maria, what is going to be uh, the biggest challenge, do you think, for Superior? Uh, it's obviously going to be stopping Williams's running game with Chance Pearson. He has over 1,000 rushing yards and 23 touchdowns. Yeah, and Williams really just has a, a tremendous running game uh, up and down. I mean, you... Maria mentioned Pearson, who's their leading rusher. But if you look at them as a team, they're averaging 9.6 yards a carry as a team with uh, 3,663 yards rushing as a team. Uh, they also have Alex Garrett, who has rushed for 742 yards and 12 touchdowns. So it's really going to be superior trying to stop that dominant rushing attack for Williams. And then, of course, uh, for... The Williams defense, they are going to have to try to contain that explosive superior passing game. Uh, Maria, any other final thoughts on this state championship game? You mentioned Williams' uh, defense. Those same two guys in Pearson and Garrett, they lead the, teams, the team in tackles, and they have combined for 26 tackles for a loss. And uh, superior also has a very good defense. Uh, don't want to let that get lost in the shuffle. They have... Uh, Intercepted 24 passes this year. Sammy Lopez, who is their leading receiver, has 10 interceptions. And uh, Daniel McConnell has 11 sacks for them. So uh, they do have some playmakers on defense as well. That's going to do it for our breakdown on the playoff game, Pinal playoff games for this week. And remember to visit PinalCentral.com for all of your Pinal County playoff football action. And we will see you next week. Mm -hmm.